it's the scenario that Libya's fragile government had feared now come true. On Thursday, the country's parliament, based in the eastern port of Tobruk, named Fatih Bashacha as new prime minister. But Libya already has a premier, Abdelhamid Debeba, head of the UN-recognized unity government based in Tripoli. Debeba is refusing to step aside, and the UN is continuing to support him, much to parliament's displeasure. Neither the UN nor any other country has the right to decide the internal affairs of Libya. The new government is a government for the Libyan people, all of them. No one has the right to pressure our parliament's decision-making. Dabiba was designated a year ago during a UN-brokered process with a mandate to lead the country through elections initially planned for December 2021. That vote, though, was canceled amid angry disputes over its legal foundations and controversial candidates, including a son of former dictator Muammar Gaddafi. Dabiba has vowed to stay in his post until new elections can be organized, but the Tobruk parliament, backed by eastern military commander Khalifa Haftar, is unwilling to wait. Tripoli residents worry that the dispute will renew a 2014 split that divided the country between two parallel rival governments. I hope there won't be two governments leading to division. It's not logical, even if we are for or against this government. A 2020 ceasefire has so far mostly held up. Analysts say a return to open fighting between eastern and western factions remains unlikely for now.